eastern Montana, Michael, Dale, and I are gonna try to do some on your own goose hunting. Pretty much always, we do everything on public land, on your own. The thing is, geese really like to eat crops that are grown on private land. So, we are going to try to get access on private land to hunt geese. So we're just gonna drive around, scout fields, call people, try to get access. I've never done this before. This is my first time. I mean, I hunted with Michael a handful of times uh, on some access that he had. And other than that, I've never done geese over decoys, but Dale has done a bunch of it. So he's our expert for uh, this hunt. We borrowed some decoys. Yeah, we kind of cobbled I, together like a set really, right? Right, yeah. So personally, I've got five dozen decoys and they're just the silhouette decoys, but a buddy of mine had some extra decoys that he's like, here, man, you can use these if you want. So we've got quite a few. I've got my own A-frame blind that'll fit the three of us in it see what we can find mark it on our maps and then just try to find landowners see what happens at the tone please record your message nope really? she, super nice but so she doesn't like to give access and he just wants us to hunt the southwest corner of it which is good because the geese were right there in that right close to it sweet so I say that we go set up there this afternoon and then hunt that other place that we have access to tomorrow morning. All right. Sound good? Dang. We got those permissions. There's 25 different big flocks in the air right now over there. It's like, what, 1230? But I think Dale is saying he thinks they're heading back to water, so. We're gonna set up. We're good. Along this dike here, it's super brushy and then it kind of dies off. And it's not so brushy the further it goes down. So most of these birds this morning were literally from here that way. So what we're gonna do is put it literally right on the edge of this brush and then try to pull these birds because the wind's coming this way so they're gonna have to circle back around and fly into the wind to land. So we'll be on that side as they come in. And we'll have the cool. sun too. Like the, yeah, yeah, the sun will be at our back. Drop behind us, so should be a pretty good setup. Cool. Sounds good to me. Let's get the decoy set up in case the yeah things start happening. We can at least react to it. We want to put a heavy out to our left, and then kind of trail it off because with that wind coming like this, they're going to fall into that trail. Okay. Right. So we're going to put heavy on this side, then kind of break it up a little bit leave almost kind of a gap right here in front of the blind and then trail it off that way and kind of like a j shaped okay that makes sense yeah so and then they're but they're 2d right so right they're 2d do you like put them all the same way or do you yeah, i constantly mix them up and I'll, and I'll put them like a couple yards apart make like a t it, it doesn't really matter the main thing is you don't want them all shaped the same way because okay. what they're doing is when they're circling and you have that 2d and they're making a t it makes it look like those geese are moving okay so we just got set up it's Almost two o'clock. Got about three hours till dark, so should be pretty good. There was probably 250 geese in this field earlier when we called to get permission. So we're hoping that they're gonna come back. We'll see what happens. See if I can actually sound like a goose or sound like a dying goose. No comments on how bad my calling is. I'm just gonna say that now. Now everybody's gonna go down there. I'm really good at goose calling. I looked at a YouTube video like a year ago. <laughs> it's like, there's no way a goose can resist that. Figured I'd bring him right up. Gotta be like them Duck Commander guys.
Marcus and I just switched up. See if I know how to shoot something. That's fun. We ended up killing six. Uh, no more came in, but still a pretty good day. That was that a was blast. Fun. That was the first time I got to shoot like cup wing kind of ish <laughs> geese. Yeah, it was, was good. Sweet. Back, we rented an Airbnb for over here, so that should be pretty sweet. And I think we're gonna cook up some geese, huh? Gonna make a real quick marinade. We're gonna cut the goose breasts out, do thin strips, throw it in that marinade for a little bit while we get everything else ready and then I'll save half of that out to kind of drizzle on top after it started this year. We got a bunch of peppers and onions, some tortillas, lime juice, some garlic sliced up, oil, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and like half of a beer. We'll see. I have no idea. We're just gonna let the goose marinate in there for a little bit. Pretty dang good. Really good. Yeah, I just tried the meat by itself and it was really good. Yeah. Tastes like steak. Good mm. thing you like steak. Goose doesn't taste good, right? <laughs> it's horrible. Like, I bet you if you gave this to people, they wouldn't know it's goose. They'd be like, oh, no. Stay tuned if you guys want to see another Canada Goose Kill Queen cook video. We're going to go way more in depth on how we cook all of these birds a bunch of different ways. Michael, Dale, and I cook all these birds up.